Welcome to ASU's University Academic Success Program. This video will cover the topic, find the solution to a matrix in reduced row echelon form. While solving a matrix, there are three possible solutions. Unique solution, infinitely many solutions, and no solutions. Let's begin by working through a few examples of finding solutions based off of the matrix. Our first example will be row 1, 1, 0, 0, 2, row 2, 0, 1, 0, 4, row 3, 0, 0, 1, 7. This matrix is written in reduced row echelon form and can now be solved. Okay, I see that it's written in matrix form, but now what do I do with it? We will write out our matrix as a system of equations. This will look like 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 2, and 0x1 plus 1x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 4, along with 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 1x3 is equal to 7. We can now simplify this further to give us a solution x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 4, x3 is equal to 7. Since each variable has one solution, the whole matrix only contains one unique solution. Our next example will be the matrix row 1, 1, 3, 0, 4, row 2, 0, 1, 2, 6, row 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we can write out the solution in equation form. This will give us 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 6, 0x1 plus 1x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 4, and 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 0. Since the bottom row states that 0 is equal to 0, we know that there will be infinitely many solutions. Okay, that makes sense. But how do we know how to write the solutions? To write the solution, we need to parameterize. We do this by solving for each variable. We will first solve for the free variable x3. We will write our free variable x3 as x3 is equal to t. t can be any real number. Now we can solve for x1. We will use t in the place of x3. This will give us x1 plus 3t is equal to 6, which can be simplified to x1 is equal to negative 3t plus 6. Next, we must solve for x2, which will give us x2 plus 2t is equal to 4, which simplifies to x2 is equal to negative 2t plus 4. Now we can write our final solution as x1 is equal to negative 3t plus 6, x2 is equal to negative 2t plus 4, and x3 is equal to t. t is any real number. This will be our final solution. For our next example, we will look at row 1, 1, 0, 0, 3, row 2, 0, 1, 3, 2, row 3, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now we can write the matrix in the form of a system of equations. This will look like 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 3. 0x1 plus 1x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 2 and 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 1. Since the bottom equation states that 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 1, and 0 does not equal 1, the matrix will have no solution. Okay, I think I have it figured out, but let me check. So if each variable has its own constant, the system will have a unique solution. When the last equation states that 0 equals 0, then the system will have infinitely many solutions, 
and we must parameterize to reach a solution. While systems that have equations such as 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 equals 1, which state 0 equals 1, have no solution. Great, you got it. Now all you need is a bit more practice.